What you doing? Just uh, hanging out. I was videoing. <laughs> Hi, I'm Liz, and my other half is Charlie, and we are exceptionally frugal. That's why we're traveling the U.S. in our minivan Opal, paving the way for others to see that traveling on a budget can be quite fun. We love the outdoors, and we have tried to avoid cities, do lots of hiking, and have a strange obsession with rocks. So hop in the van, and let's see what kind of adventure we can find. All right, another fill up, about half a tank in Cook City, Montana, just outside of uh, Yellowstone here. $3.70 for regular. Uh, $55.20. 14.8 gallons. Cheaper than Washington. So we stopped here at this little creek or river, uh, probably a creek beautiful place and uh, Liz is off rock hounding and I'm cooking some burgers and then we're gonna head on our way probably get dark on us and probably be the first time we have to set up camp in the dark well yeah we know this is pretty epic looking what we're going towards right now but I guess we'll just have to sleep somewhere around here tonight. Yeah, what do you think, babe? Probably. I know it's uh, a little bit of a rough road. A little bit. Nothing open. But, uh, oh my gosh. This, I can't describe this feeling. <laughs> Driving this long, bumpy dirt road towards this canyon. And it's the, the fork... Uh, River is that down there? Uh, Clark Fork. Clark Fork River Canyon is what I'm calling it. But I think it's the Yellowstone Clark Fork of the Yellowstone uh, River Canyon. Yeah. But anyhow, uh, this road just seems to like every time you think you're up to the canyon, you come over, you crest a hill, and then there's more dirt road. It's kind of cool. So I figured I'd take you guys along for this little ride for a little bit here. I'll show you when we get to camp. It's hopefully gonna be enough light. And if yeah. not, you'll see it in the morning for sure. So yeah. stay tuned. Well, we made it to the campsite. Shabby. This high overlander app delivers. Yes. <laughs> Here's Opal. Does not cost a dime to camp there. scenery. Uh, this is Wyoming. We're kind of off a little dirt road off of the Chief Joseph Scenic Highway. And holy smokes is it scenic. <laughs> it is quite gorgeous here.
this is what we're going to go through here and I'm real curious to how it's going to look because that's just a bunch of zigzags on the map. Look at this. <laughs> oh, I bet it's going to have some beautiful views. Probably. So it looks like the zigzags are going up that mountain up there or up that plateau. Or butte. Boy, look at that. Whatever. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, there's there's some cool stuff going on in that canyon. I just saw a little glimpse of it. Woo! Ooh. Okay. We're stopping. We're stopping. It's cold. It's so cold. Uh, we're, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna cross that bridge that we saw mm -hmm. when we get to it. <laughs> um, <laughs> And check it out. It's really cool looking from the from the other side. Yeah, here's what the bridge looks like while you're on it. Yeah. Beautiful mountain right there. It's so yeah. steep on the sides. Let's poke our heads over here. Wow. Right there. Oh, cool. Wow. 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 Well, here's a little perspective to show how grand this canyon is. There's Opal in the parking lot up there. There's Charlie. And let's scale down here. And there's the river down below. Did any of the signs say how tall this is? This is pretty amazing. Uh, what a landscape. Another thing we just happened upon, uh, just, you know, turning turning down a road. It would be <laughs> difficult to plan this sort of adventure. I know we drive it in that we don't like planning, but this is why, like. Yeah, it, it, it so like, if we had researched this, we would have seen pictures of it online and, and you know, we would have gotten here and we probably would have been disappointed. Um, I, I don't know how, but uh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I mean, sometimes that's what happens: is you you research something, you, you see pictures online that photographers take, and you you get disappointed. For example, Lake McDonald in Yellowstone. Yeah, it's a beautiful lake, but a lot of the pictures that you see are over edited, over saturated. Yeah, and uh, you know, taken at the exact right moment. So when you yeah. get there and the moment's not exactly perfect, then you don't get to see that picture-perfect image. Right. And for example, Lake McDonald and Glacier National Park. I said Yellowstone. <laughs> oh, I can sh I can I can shift put that around. I'll put words with your, at the bottom. Use your movie, movie magic, please. Clear. And she did it in Crocs. <laughs> okay, we're on the other side of the bridge and the view is just as gorgeous. Look at this, guys. <laughs> oh, the river goes up that way. Yeah. Gosh. Wow. Some of these formations here are just beautiful. All glacial and uh, stream erosion and uh, there's also a fault here that produced some uplift. It's pretty cool. Where's she going? You going down to the river? Gosh. This is just amazing. 
All right, let's follow her. Ooh. Um. Hmm. Do I step on that? It looks like it's ready to break away. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna go down this carefully. Good, I didn't scratch it. Berries. What are you doing? I go in there. Your mom's not gonna like this. Woo. Where are you going? No, you're not. You're going to that edge out there. Right there. I can't reach you guys. There you go. Gotcha. <laughs> this is going to be a cool view. I hope so. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Woo. Okay, hold on. Can you get up this? What? Can you get up this? I don't know. I'll find out when I head back. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. All right. There's the bridge. <laughs> this is how it happens, guys. <gasps> oh, my legs are shaking. <laughs> this is pretty epic. <laughs> yes. I just hope we can get back up. <laughs> oh, we will. Came down in Crocs, so I'll go up in Crocs. <laughs> yep. Are you living dangerously? <laughs> Only my camera. Oh. <laughs> you be careful. Are you filming me? Yeah. Not that I want you to fall, but just be careful. Well, I don't want to fall either. There's a sheer drop off right there. Yeah. This tree's probably about. 30 feet tall. <laughs> oh, look at the pine cones on it. That's so cute. Wow, that is far down. Yeah. Some pink quartz right here. People have been chipping at. Oh, yeah. Rose quartz, I guess. Yeah, big chunks of it grown. This is all granite that we're on. Um, and it's very pink. Yeah. Some pretty black. It's weird because from afar it looks like basalt to me. Yeah, because it's almost columnar. Yeah, and then in areas the pink makes it look like sandstone. Like rocks can just be deceiving. Oh, I think I found a nice chunk on the ground here. Show an example. Yeah, that's very pink. Yep. All right, shall we go up? Yep. When you're a photographer, you gotta learn to climb with one hand. <laughs> That's hand holds. Yeah, it's fun to climb this stuff. Granite's nice because it's nice and grippy. Um, this might 
be a little tougher. Yeah, you might need my hand for this. Okay. Go ahead and set them up here. a hand getting up an actual hand hold <laughs> <laughs> careful there this is fun it is i go this way <laughs> okay we're back on the bridge but i wanted to show you kind of the view of the from the bridge Woo. and that point right down there is where we down climb to that was fun that was fun <laughs> yeah the thread We're at 8,000 feet right here, exactly. There's the jumble of roads we were driving up. <laughs> You can see the uplift and the rock here behind Opal where the layers are slanted, where the earth shifted up. Can you imagine straightening that mountain back? All right, so I see on the horizon our first big city. That we haven't been in a big city in like a very, very long time. I like big cities. Yeah, it's, <laughs> there's nothing there for us. But this big city is pretty cool because, it, well, first off, it's it's Cody, Wyoming. Wyoming is proving itself to be awesome, but it's surrounded by all these mountains. Like the ones we just left, and those ones. And you can see right there on the horizon how big it is. It's like, it goes from there all the way to over there. That's yeah, a huge expanse. It, oh, it keeps going off that way. Yeah. So, we're coming in hot, Wyoming. Cody, Wyoming. Yeah, Charlie just rolled his eyes at me as I said that. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, but yeah, here we are. Cody, Wyoming. I'll film a little more. We have a full tank of gas, but this is the cheapest gas we've seen so far. $3.18. And it's an Exxon. It's not like a an Arco. Yeah. If you guys know what Arco is. So it looks like the place we're headed has antelope there. We're pretty far back. This is where we're going to stay for a few days, right by where the antelope are. And uh, there goes the table. That's a normal happening. But look at this view. That is quite the expanse. <laughs> Thank you.
Liz is getting us some lunch ready. Got some salads. Supposedly we have some cell service here too. I hope. And uh, we're gonna get some work done. It's supposed to rain here pretty soon and uh, might actually get some thunderstorms, so. But I just thought I'd show you around because this is what we're calling home until we get, you know, a few things taken care of. Which might be a couple days. I got a lot of editing to catch up on. Including this video that I'm filming right now. <laughs> So guys, if you like bumpy mountain roads and you like pickles, store them safely. <laughs> I'm having to clean out the entire back of the van here uh, because there's pickle juice everywhere. I've already mostly cleaned it up, but there's that much juice left in the jar and the van is going to permanently smell like pickles now. Not permanently, just for the next month. I think it will always smell like pickles. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Hashtag van life. Hashtag pickle van life. <laughs> Meanwhile, got this beautiful sunset going on over here. And this rain hopefully is just going to bypass us. We got a little bit right there. And then a lot right there. And we've been watching it. And uh, it was there and now it's there. So hopefully it's just going to bypass us and then head on out that way and we got neighbors uh right there some uh hunter guy came up and said that uh, he usually goes out there and camps but he wanted to come up here and wanted to know if we're camping or not and he's been running his generator all day so hopefully he won't be running all night but the van's pretty uh pretty soundproof and he's a little bit far away so shouldn't matter but uh, yeah, pickle juice. <laughs> stay put <laughs> you're probably getting used to this by now yeah, the wind got really bad last night uh, around dinner time I was trying to cook spaghetti I was cleaning up the pickle mess oh it got worse you guys oh, it was bad and this long like sustained wind came and kicked over our Coleman cam stove dumped while, all the water <laughs> while it was on and the water had just got to boiling and I was about to throw um, a package of spaghetti in it. And um, this is going to make me sound like a really angry person, <laughs> but I was just like fed up at that point. And so I tossed the package of spaghetti in the back of the van and it exploded spaghetti noodles <laughs> everywhere. It was like spaghetti, spaghetti like, confetti. <laughs> <laughs> and then meanwhile, like these uh, grocery bags are flying I'm chasing, everywhere. I'm chasing, chasing bucket lids and, and yes. grocery bags uh, uh, off a cliff almost. And yeah, it was it was quite uh, I, I, yeah. I wish we were recording, but it was way too windy to even grab uh, the camera. We, we weren't even thinking about that. We were scrambling because yeah. we had everything out because of the pickle juice mess. <laughs> and so we had to scramble to throw uh, all the stuff back in the van. It was it was hilarious. The van is still crazy for a Oh yeah, it so is. So the next place we stop, we've got to do a reset in the van. Yeah, we're gonna find a, a place a little less windy where I can uh, throw some videos together. You know, I keep saying that, but. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so that's, that's a little update on, on where we're going. Uh, here's a view of what we're driving through, and uh, we will see you at the next stop. No wild horses yet. No wild horses yet, but lots of beautiful land. There's a big mountain over there. So we decided today we would uh, go to Walmart and do some work on the van, and uh, started working on it, and now you can see the wall of rain coming. <laughs> 
So we're gonna hop in the van and get going. I just realized you're talking and I pointed, so that's my hand, by the way. <laughs> yeah, you'll figure that one out. <laughs> so we made the decision to move along. We are, it's probably, that was about 4.30 p.m. It's about an hour and a half till sunset. if we can find some petroglyphs or at least head in that direction. Yeah, we're going to head in that direction. We're going to make up the time. Yeah, it'll probably, probably not a good idea to get out of the car in this. Wow. We're in Wyoming and this is the Oregon Basin. I thought we were looking at the Oregon Basin when we were camping uh, last night, but apparently this is it because we're going down into a basin yeah here. that definitely looks like a basin i let you guys poke your heads out the window but i don't want you to get wet it's pretty soaked out there yeah. <laughs> but uh if you can see through the raindrops it's really beautiful it is very interesting okay it says danger poison gas hydrogen sulfide gas h2s Unmarked gathering lines are buried throughout this field, which cross under the public and lease roads. They may carry dangerous amounts of hydrogen sulfide. Prior to any digging, please contact the field office. Oregon Basin Field, stormwater permit authorization, blah, blah, blah. Marathon Oil Company, Oregon Basin Field. Uh, no one gets hurt today. <laughs> It says that at the bottom of the side. All right. Please, no shooting in the Oregon Basin, danger to men and equipment. Bow hunting, welcome. Continue on road three fork for three miles. I've never miles. seen an oil field before, so. Yeah, wait till we get to Texas. Yeah. You can see is, those things everywhere. This is interesting. Are you good? Do you guys have them in your state? Like. That one's going. Oh, yeah, that one's going. That is a cool van. Adventure driver. Adventure driver is what it said? That's what it said. All right, so Liz says I always do the campsite tour, um, which I don't know if that's true. But uh, as you see, it's perfectly flat up here. But we are on the edge of a plateau overlooking this beautiful valley. Snow-capped mountains over there already. Actually, I think that's the Tetons, probably. Oh yeah, there's a lot of snow over there. It's probably a good thing we left the high country, babe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, a lot of fresh snow. Yeah. I wonder if there's any passes we have to go through. Uh, not the way we're headed. So, um... We saw this uh, site on iOverlander and it was nine miles off to the main drag. So we have to do the nine miles back. Um, continue on our journey. It's kind of cool because you can see, I don't know if you can see here, but there's like a bunch of red lines in the, in the cliffs over here, all the way across. Down there is the Gray Bull River, I believe. Um, but yeah, it's pretty beautiful. Uh, we were over here where you can see the rain clouds, um, and we, we decided to, uh, get a move on away from them. Hopefully it was the right decision. And I guess, uh, we're gonna have some dinner, and hit the hay, and get up and do it all again in the morning. For some reason we can't stop. For more than a day. I think we stopped for two days up in Idaho, but uh, it's just too exciting. <laughs> um, yeah, it's fun. I mean, seeing all the sights, all there is to see, it's great. See you tomorrow. Well, that was fun. 
That was so much fun. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and check us out on Patreon and we'll see you next time. Bye now. Bye now.